So the nice feature about this cake is that you can enjoy three different textures depending on the temperature at which you are serving the cake. Straight out from the fridge if you want it firm, at room temperature if you want it soft and creamy, and heat it for about 15 seconds in the microwave if you want it uh, gooey. Now, just some explanation about the upgraded version. We're not just adding some random stuff into the cake, you know, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. The thing that makes this chocolate cake special is its unique texture, its mouthfeel, its strong chocolate flavor. So what we are trying to accomplish here in the upgraded version is to keep the same texture as the classic version while enhancing the aroma. Because aroma accounts for 80% of how we perceive flavor. Dark chocolate is composed of cacao butter, cacao solid, and sugar. By decomposing the chocolate in its three fundamental ingredients, we can enhance its flavor with the use of brown sugar. We can also change the flavor, alter the flavor to our taste by adjusting the proportions of each ingredient as long as the sum of the weight of the three ingredients remains the same. For example, with more cacao solid, you will get a stronger chocolate flavor. With more cacao butter, the mouthfeel will be smoother. And with more sugar, obviously, it will be sweeter. Making brown butter, aka beurre noisette, has two purposes. The first one is to bring out the nutty flavor. And the second one is to replace the evaporated milk during uh, the boiling process with maple syrup, which will add another nice aroma to the mix. The addition of uh, the small amount of coffee will magnify the chocolate flavor. Then finally, the hint of salt and uh, will enhance the sweetness without adding extra sugar. It's all about balance and synergy. What we achieve here is a cake that has the same texture and mouthfeel, 
but with a more complex and enhanced aroma, bringing the overall flavor to a new level, to a new dimension. We can see this as a math problem, if you will, or more precisely as an optimization problem on the constraint. How to max out the flavor under the constraint of keeping the same texture by changing only the aroma variable. Okay guys, that's it for today. As usual, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. Eat plenty of chocolate. Until next time, see you.